which you are able to get from the data which you have captured. So, the significance of the data will always be there. Yeah. Now, how it is captured and how authentic that data is, uh, that is very important. It's good, you know, digital way of capturing the data, analyzing it, but you know, you need to also understand that just basis the you know uh, capturing of data won't work yeah so idea is to you know engage with people not only through the system but also the human intervention should be there the yeah. leader should actually you know talk to the people uh, maybe the leader should if they are not able to go to the last mile maybe the uh, team members they have they should coach them so that the vision what the md or the director or the board of directors are having same vision and values, the last person in the company who is the junior most person should have the same kind of feeling. Got it. If that is there, I think engagement is automatically going to be there. And people will be very motivated and they will be there with the company for a long time. Sure. Obviously, artificial intelligence and uh, really uh, want to understand in a much better way that how uh, it is going to value add in identifying uh, talents because obviously what happens you know when you are hiring a non-tech guy specifically in a BFSI industry I would definitely you know uh, like to see that how this AI based technologies yeah. uh, can help okay. whether their predictions are going to be correct or not. Okay. Speaking, I seen very few business uh, team or maybe directors or uh, board of directors speaking very good about uh, you know the HR guys that they have done fantastically well. Yeah. You know, many HRs are working in an isolated fashion, very far away from the business the teams. Business. HRs should think about the return on investment. Yeah. They should stop seeing themselves as a support function. Yeah. They are partners of the organization. Uh, even if HR people gets an opportunity to move to some other department of sales, operation, and admin, yeah. they should not be afraid of doing that. Yeah. And I strongly feel that the kind of format which we had in uh, government or PSC, still we have some formats in PSC, where when they join an organization as an apprentice, they work for many departments. Yes. And people are not afraid of moving from one department to another. Yeah. But nowadays, I feel that if you talk to an HR guy who has spent around seven, eight years in HR, and if you tell that, you know, tomorrow onwards you'll have to do business development, I don't know what will happen to that person. Right. So, you know, we need to understand that, you know, we are management guys. Yeah. It is not that, you know, we'll be there in that stream maybe for lifelong. That yeah. is one of the role you are actually doing. Yes. So I would, my submission to all the HR buddies is that, uh, think a lot of things about the HR, people management, but have a lot of affection for the business yeah. or the company you're working for. Yeah. Or everything will fall in place. <laughs>